Welcome to Lou and Joanne Yarns. I'm Alicia. Today we're going to be talking about photography and lighting essentials. Your pictures can potentially make or break a sale. I don't know how important I can screen this to the roof. It's very important. Your job is to convince a potential customer that they must have this item that you're making. I don't know of many people who wake up in the morning and say, I just have to have a knit or crochet hat. This is a very old skill. This is con what we do, knitting and crocheting, is considered old fashioned. Something grandma used to make itchy sweater for us. Your job is to make this look exciting and cool. And that's not going to happen if you spend hours on this beautiful work of art you made and you're going to take a picture of it sitting on your coffee table. Nobody's going to want that. I'm going to show you how to make, take pictures that are actually worthy of your work for dollars. You don't need expensive um, film equipment. You don't need expensive editing equipment. If you have a smartphone, you're 50% there. Like, uh, majority of my uh, filming equipment is sitting right behind me. Ugh, let me show you what it is. Here's my very expensive backdrop. All it is is a poster board. I've been using this 99 cent poster board for the past maybe three months now. I use it for filming my YouTube video tutorials. I use it for making backdrops for the hats I make that I can sell online. Also, when I need to take pictures of myself, I have my very expensive photographer, me, um, a selfie stick I got from the dollar store for super cheap because I don't have anybody to take pictures for me, so therefore I have to do um, all of the work myself, hence the selfie stick. and my lighting a workers can, um, clamp light that I got from the hardware store you can do all this for cheap and also a uh, pretty good essential you, you must have these uh, I think they're called CFL light bulbs uh, daylight CFL light bulbs not the ones that shine with a uh, yellow tint but the ones that give a more natural daylight these are great for taking pictures. I, I'll put a link down in the description box below where I got my light bulbs. I think I got a pack of four of them for 10 bucks online on Amazon. You don't have to spend tons of money. And now I'm going to insert a clip on exactly what I do when I go through filming things. So it's going to be weird. So I'll insert all those pictures and videos now. I know I'm not fooling anybody, so yes, I wear a wig for my photo shoots. It looks good in the pictures, and I have really big hair, so this wig makes my pictures look a little extra nice. You guys don't have to do this, but this is my own personal little secret weapon. So everybody, you can see exactly how I film for my little photo shoots. You know, I got my little photo wig on. <laughs> and I don't know if you ever noticed, I always have a nice clean background. So, can you see? This is my background and that is my Audubon. <laughs> what I do to take my pictures to get my nice clean background, I stand on my Audubon. As simple as that and take photos. Right now I have my um, camera attached to my selfie stick. So I'm going to stop the um, video here. I'll move on to something else in a second and I'm going to take some pictures for my shop. Here is another way that I take a picture of my work. I just use a plain poster board. When you go up close and crop out your picture, you can't see all the weird stuff that I have in the background. So a poster board can cost you 50 cents to a dollar at any store. Also, I make sure I have good lighting. I use a work uh, workman light clamp. I believe this cost maybe a total of 11 or 12 dollars at a hardware store and also I made my own DIY ring light this is made from a, a big sticky tape of LED lights it probably only cost me a total of 10 11 dollars to make and it is on a <laughs> selfie stick oh you can notice how I make my uh, ring light there's a lot of aluminum foil and zip ties I'm very um 
ingenuitive. I think of ways how to make something professional from something cheap. So if you guys would like to do that, you should try it yourself. But the most important thing is your lighting. Make sure your lighting is great because if you have poor lighting and a messy background, nobody's going to want to buy your products. So once again, look closely. When I aim in close to my object, I can easily take a picture and crop out the outsized edges from here to there. Another important must-have are daylight light bulbs. Make sure they say 6500K. These replicate the natural light of the sun. Don't buy the ones that have a yellow tint to them. You want your pictures to be nice, bright, and clear, just as if they were filmed directly outside. I'll leave a link in the description box below on where to purchase these lights. This is one of the best tips I can give you. Download an airbrushing app on your smartphone. This is one of the favorite ones I use. It's called Airbrush. It's good for any Android device. It can change your picture from blah into, oh my goodness, I need to buy this. Okay, look at my before pictures of my barefoot sandals. I was trying to create something great, but as you can see, I'm sitting on a chair in my pajama pants. And I'll show you what the afters look like. Once it's photoshopped and cleaned up, I never photoshopped the work, but I will touch up everything around it to make it look like something somebody would want to buy. Look at the before picture of this one. Now watch how I touched it up. All I did was erase the um, shadows from the bottom of the mannequin and smooth out the background and your picture looks instantly professional. For some more advanced um, photography staging setup that's still affordable, I'm going to insert some pictures of my friend Lori Whitaker. She takes the most amazing staging pictures for her work, so I'll insert those now. She is an absolute whiz when it comes to staging. She can take a simple fur background and make it look like a winter wonderland. I'm going to leave a link for um, her Instagram page in the description box below. But try your own things. Try out different backgrounds. But if you're like me, just stick to the uh, simple white backgrounds. Okay, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, don't forget to um, click the thumbs up button. And also subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll always be up to date on what's going on at Little John Yarns. I come out with two patterns a week and also a third video that I like to call um, Yarn Hustler, what I, shows you what I do, um, how to make extra money selling your own craft. So, all right, guys, that's it. I will see you all on the very next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.